Before I make a video about how I'm using my maps from Subsense Painter in 3ds Max, I just want to show you uh, how to fix a small error baking maps. So I'm going to use this uh, Velociraptor head that I made. Uh, make sure if you have two objects like me, I want to use them separately. So I will have maps uh, on separate layers. Uh, make sure if you are in 3ds Max to have this uh, object color different. So this will be red and this will be yellow. So let's select this one and export it. I'm going to export to desktop and call it low poly. Export. And then because I want to bake it, let's apply some turbo smooth. I don't really have details, but it will be high res, at least export and call it whatever you want and export. Okay, let's go to Substance Painter. Press file, new, and uh, we select the low poly. Uh, we can go for tangent and press OK. Awesome. So let's make a quick bake. Let's go for uh, texture settings, bake mesh. And then let's select our high poly. Let's bake it for 4K, but I'm going to speed up the video. Then let's go for 4x4. Four four. You can, I recommend to name the meshes, but I'm going to keep it always. And uh, let's see, curvature, thickness. We can play around with uh, all these same things. So let's bake it and I'm going to speed up. As you can see, uh, my ambient occlusion and thickness is not baked. The ID map, it can be created in uh, other software like ZBrush or Tracemax. So press OK. Uh, solution for this one is to go to uh, Edit Settings and uncheck Enable CPU Ray Tracing. Press OK. I did bake uh, without that and bake all maps or you we can go and do like uh, We can keep these maps and go again to bake meshes and then just uncheck normal Word space we don't need ID and curvature and position and now we can rebake the missing maps There we go. And now we have the maps uh, besides select ID map. Uh, let's go to uh, texture and you can see that we have two objects. Let's go and actually apply some smart materials. Let's go for uh, metal. Uh, let's see. Metal. Let's go for more info. Let's go for four K. So this texture is a bit too strong and heavy for this purpose video. So I'm going to delete it for now. 
and let's go to another smart material and let's search for steel and let's use this steel painted chip dirty I think this material comes with um, substance painter this looks pretty cool for this purpose video and actually let's use the steel ruin and apply it to the interior details maybe it's a bit too strong so I'm going to change it with steel scratch it way better and we can close this shelf obviously you can play along with the texture you can add more scratches and maybe the a bit the height of the difference between the painted and the metal but for this uh, video it's enough i'm going to export the texture from substance painter in 3ds max and i'm going to use a plugin on importing the maps there also i'm going to make another video on importing the uh, maps in autodesk Mar. So thank you for watching, see you next time, take care.